Check, check, check one, two. There's a lot that has happened in the world since it first started. I'm talking about a time where most of what we see around us did not exist. Not even trees, just to put things into perspective. A time where bacteria breathing oxygen into the air made all of this possible. Not a virus, bacteria. I just want you to step outside the fragility that is consuming us about corona at the moment. But I think this is useful in the broader scheme of things as well. Let's look at the time span between the industrial revolution and now. Our species has become the first ever to use its varying capacities to plunder the planet. Not intentionally, just like we all like to say, we are only human. But in doing so, we created a shift in the Earth's system that, frankly, we didn't see coming. The upside was that we're capable of huge changes. Great, but those changes come at a cost. All right, so how do we undo these changes? Well, we don't, or rather, we can't to a certain degree. Then how do we change the change we have already done? We reconstruct ourselves, our ways of thinking about each other. We use this time to understand our shadows and let go of the things we were incapable of letting go in the past. It's the least we can do. And perhaps it's the best thing to do because we haven't had a time like this where one damn thing has our undivided attention. Notice how all other pressure points that were influencing the layperson have suddenly gone off the radar. Everything from bucket challenges to climate change, from Trump to Greta debates. Even the woke social justice warriors have their feeds and inboxes full this time, not on topics of toxic masculinity or toxic femininity, only toxic virology seems to be on the pulse. So in this time of connectedness, let's try to think like a virus. Let's mutate ourselves. Let's emerge with a better strain of ourselves. One that is resilient, but at the same time, immensely compassionate. One that can look inwards and accept that we are not immune and probably because we had the wrong filters on that prevented us from asking the right kind of questions. It's how we start to rebuild ourselves, by asking the right kind of questions. I know we do have the metastasizing power, like this virus does. So I guess the question for me to you is, can we think like a virus? <laughs>